said you need a flashlight, man. I put my keys up. Can't lose those things. You, you can't see without a light. I mean, you can't. You don't know where you. Can. Well, I don't want to miss the hole. That's what she I've said. I've done that before, and it ended up good. Make sure you zip it up. I why am. Why are you turn your lights off? I am, Dad. It? Okay, I'm good now. I'm good too. Good where you? Oh, get back over here, man. Hey, y'all Y'all remember Tyler from last year? He had that red dot that said about this tall off his gun. Here we go. <laughs> Let me see it. I got it fixed now. Oh, I got it fixed. Let's see it. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Looks like the rest of us now. He was late, just like last year, arriving, so I had to go roost gobblers by myself. Oh. Anyway, I got one located. They didn't gobble very well on the roost last night. I think it's because it's low pressure area moving in. I have a general idea where he's at, so we're gonna go just stand out there in the woods and and listen. And if we need to move, we will. But uh, we're gonna head out out there now. It's about an hour and a half before sunrise, so we got plenty of time. And it's overcast, so it's gonna be slow getting light. But let's head on out there and see if Tyler can shoot one. Still came in and up there crow calling. That's a real one there, but somebody was hitting a crow call. I'm gonna hit my owl hoops, see if I can get this bird to gobble again. He's not gobbling very well. I only got him to gobble once so far. Nine minutes. I drive out 
living. There's a bird gobbling back way off to our left still. He's still gobbling occasionally, but we're just going to hang here and see what these birds are going to do. That's a long beard. Just uh, wait for him to start pecking again, and then we're going to get down. I right, get down. I don't know what to do here in this situation. I mean, they're coming this way, but I don't want to just... I heard a gobble. I heard those gobble. Oh, who's that behind him? Behind his gobble after that crow and that owl. I'm going to have to... God, I don't know what to do about this gun. We haven't loaded it yet? I was going to. We have seen this bird. You got it loaded yet? Yes, loaded. You got the shells down on the bottom? Give me time, Dad. Are you reaching in two different pockets? Well, I got a lot going on over here, Shane. You got one thing going on. You're loading the gun. I got down. a lot going on, man. What are you going to do about these birds? I don't know. We don't really have anywhere to go. Think we could crawl to this fallen tree here? Let's just crawl to this fallen tree. Your knees are gonna get wet. Boo hoo. edge or either come over this hill. We just sit right here at this tree. I think you need to have your gun like level somehow. Because yeah. it might pop up right here. Sound like he was to the right, like maybe they're going to some woods. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I heard. Now's a good time to crawl up to that tree if you want to, but there's not much cover there. There's a little cove, there's a little cove right there. I think they're in that cove. Problem is this little road bed sits lower than this hill. So all you're gonna see is a neck the whole time and they're gonna see us. So I think if you want to make your move and crawl to that little skinniest tree, not this one, but the one to the left. The left right there. Yeah, the one to the yeah, right yeah, it's got the circle dot on yeah. it. Just crawl up to it. Let me see if I can get him a gobble first. He's still down and blow. Just go up to that tree. It stays to the left a little bit. Was there? Sound like two gobblers, didn't yeah. it? That's, that's what I saw with two birds. Stay to the left slightly.
60 yards and he's walking. When he stopped, he was walking straight that way. Come on, bird. Take off running. Oh, he's much farther away. actually came pretty close one of them did he was just on the other side of this brush maybe at the edge of gun range but there was no way around this to you know to maneuver without getting busted so we just sat here we could shoot to our right shoot to our left he just needed to come out to one side and he didn't and they're in that far corner right now pecking feeding anyway we're just gonna sit tight here for a little moment and two people's on this three inch tree <laughs> yeah this this wasn't about concealment this was the element of surprise as soon as they come up this hill or off to the left they were obviously going to you know lightly spot us but then it would be too late hopefully you know we'll just keep an eye on for a few minutes let them drift off and then figure out our next move this idiot's about to cross this log and get wet I'm from the south, so wet monkey. it's gonna be a wet monkey There you well. go, boys. That's how you do it. Let me see your pants leg. Yeah, look, see? Pants wet. That's not wet. That's wet. Oh, yeah. I forgot. He doesn't want his knees to get wet or his pants to get wet. I thought I was with a turkey hunter. Apparently, I'm with a mushroom picker. <laughs> All right, let me tell everybody what's going on. We decided just to leave those birds alone we may get back on them later but they got a hen with them and it's obvious that we're going to be in the right spot to get on them we're going to stay in the area no doubt but we're going to see if we can strike another bird we're going to go up through the woods quite a ways and we're going to climb one of these ridges and give us a nice vantage point and listening point and uh out cast some calls and just listen i think as these clouds burn off 
gobblers are going to get more active and we want to be up there ready so as soon as they gobble if they're not on the ridge we're on you know we can make a, a move to the ridge they're on well we haven't got to the top of the ridge yet but we did come up on this little bench and we decided this would be a good spot to sit down take a little break and maybe run some locator calls because we can cast those calls to all these ridges around us let's see what gobbles nearby before we go up on these ridges there's old limb snapper go ahead toffer Gobble you think they went up that hill? I think they just had a bird up. gobble way off to the right. They're halfway up, ain't they? I think they were up on top. We were down here a little bit ago at the base of that ridge where we saw that those other two gobblers in the hen. They went into that ravine. This gobble is coming from up on top somewhere, and that ridge has a nice big flat top, and it goes a little ways before it runs into private. We I'm thinking he's on private. Think so? Yeah, it sounds far enough. Uh, he may be right in the woods there. It's just, it's quiet. These breezes behind us can carry our sound that way. We just got to the top of this ridge. Just, just before the lip of it. Let this breeze die down. We're on an owl hooter, see if we can get him gobble. That should be good enough. I thought it was back that way. I don't know where it is. It was fake. Ain't no way they heard that out here right far. They did? We, we heard him. It was oh, off I know. My, I'm just saying it's just unbelievable. He's off my right ear. I thought you you face that. Face that way. It was off my right ear. That was ours. That was ours just gobbling. God, I didn't hear that one. You didn't hear it? Why was this way? You told me to face that way. He's right up there in that field, it sounds like. I think we need to move far. He's not terribly far away. Damn, how did I miss that one? He's on our, on our side. I'd say he's right here in this field here. He's that close? Yeah. It was, it was pretty loud. I don't know how I missed it. Well, we're still down the ridge here a little bit. Hold on a minute. I gotta drop a pin, man. Number one tip for you guys in turkey hunting, don't get in a rush. <laughs> they could actually be down on the side of you. It'd be nice to get to that, past that fallen tree there. Cause it looks like it's somewhat semi-open up there. But I'm worried there could be a bird right down below us here. Just call and see how far away they are. Straight up that way. What do you got him that way? He's up that way. Yeah, okay, okay, it's pretty good ways off. We can move forward pretty quick.
how that hand I'm talking. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. He's a big one. Oh, yeah. Look at the body of that sucker. <laughs> hey, we did it again. Got a knee, knee pop me. I got my hands full. Son, you see him blow up, Red? Yeah. Well, we picked a perfect tree, too. I had to wait till that hand cleared. Here we go. I know. And, and you, I, you she felt, saw you it. Said, you said, shoot him. I said, I, and he said you said, whenever. And that hand finally turned and went left, and I didn't want to shoot the hand. And he stepped right into view. Right into it. Hey, hold him up. Let's take a look at him. You did a number on that head. Oh, God. I, I bet he's 26. I told you, I can tell by his body, he's freaking huge. Look, he's got inch and quarter spurs. One's broken. Got it. That's a big one. That's a giant. Nice job, man. Oh, yeah. Big old gobbler. Oh, he's pretty, too. Yep. Well, get shame one now. Oh, yeah. I'm just, well, I don't know what I thought I was sitting on, but I just fell to the ground. I, I must have thought hard. there was a bench behind me. Yeah, so um, I got a tag. So we're gonna go try and fill it. That's what is it? That's two. That's two two years, first days in a row. And the, and the one last year you killed uh, 10:40 or 10:30. This is 11:30, roughly, hour apart. Late in the morning, we can't get them off with you. Get them out off the roost. And That's you said that last night. You didn't want no easy out right off the roost. Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll work for them. Well, we worked for this one. A little bit. Yeah. I wouldn't say it was too hard. We yeah. had one hill to climb. Yeah. 